Hi everybody, Jody Ann Johnson here with the 74th episode of Coffee with Jody. And in this video, I'll be talking about Women's Month, National Women's Month here in the US. And we also have an International Women's Day, which is March the 8th. And the contributions that women have made, uh, that those that came before us and important areas of life, and some of the ones that are here with us today being role models and how we can be role models for the next generation. Some of the women that I was intrigued with when I was growing up were Golda Meir, who at the time was the Prime Minister of Israel. I don't know anything about her politics, but I just remember being struck that she was the Prime Minister of a country. It's like, wow. I also was thinking of Margaret Thatcher, who was in England at that time, the, the Prime Minister in England. There were not a lot of women role models in very high, powerful places when I was growing up, that I was aware of anyway. Um, but there were a few that I heard about, like Susan B. Anthony, who fought for our right as women to vote. It hasn't really been that long. <laughs> it has like maybe a hundred years that we've had the right to vote. Also, Rosa Parks, and I know her contribution to the civil rights movement. Katherine Graham, who was the first person to run a company in the Fortune 500. These women, they, they actually shattered uh, what we call the glass ceiling for women. Now, personally for me, I never really felt that I was held back as a woman. I don't recall that experience. Maybe I was, maybe I didn't have the same pay as the men in my profession in nursing. Um, maybe chances for me to advance were kept from me. But if they were, I wasn't aware of it. Today, when we look around, you, you see somebody like a Sarah Blakely, you know, and what she's done with Spanx, and then from there on to her philanthropic efforts. Or Sheryl Sandberg, and what she's been able to do. Um, Ellen DeGeneres, who was huge in the LGBTQ rights movement. One of the people in my research that I found most intriguing was the story of Katherine Johnson, who worked at NASA. She worked on the Apollo 13 moon mission and any number of other projects, but most famously for that, which was uh, the basis of the movie Hidden Figures. And what she was able to accomplish, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the Congressional Gold Medal of Honor, I mean, on and on for her contributions to space. You know, smart, smart women. Most recently here in Miami, we have our first female mayor, Daniela Levine Cava. She's also our first Jewish mayor. Um, a great, smart, uh, loving and capable person. And why not? Why not? The contributions that women make, and this is not about male bashing, but the contributions that women make tend to be more holistic. They tend to be more relational. They tend to be more consequential in their thinking than uh, the straight you know, bottom line that men are most famously known for. It's a stereotype, but you know, we do see evidence of the difference in the way that women lead. So this month, the videos will be focusing on women, their contributions, and looking at how we, as women, can make it better for the next generation and the generation after that, and their opportunities and possibilities in our world. If you got inspired from this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, where there's all kinds of different ideas on employee engagement, on profiling, on different business opportunities and techniques, and I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel. That's it for today. Bye for now.